one reason to use a hyperlink is to make it easier for whoever's reading this to get to a certain web page or start up an email. And so let's look at that. Now, before we do that, I do want to mention that all these hyperlinks we're doing will transfer if you convert this Word document into a PDF. So it's really doing that for you if that's the ultimate destination for this file. So uh, I have this web page in mind already. It's got a big long URL. It's a video of a word training you might want to go to. Now I could just copy and paste that in to my document and if I press enter, it turns into a hyperlink. But that's kind of ugly to look at. And so if I do it a little bit differently, I can get some additional functionality out of this. So let's say I want to say, see the word videos at, and now instead of just copy and pasting that big, long, ugly URL, I'm going to insert a hyperlink. Now where I'm going to paste this is down in the address. But what I can do to make it less ugly is change the text to display at top. That can be anything you like. And so I'm going to put amazing word videos. And there's even one other area I can customize. It's called a screen tip. That's actually going to show when I hover over it. And so I can put anything I like here. Uh, this, I'm going to say, this is in H go now. Okay, now when I okay it, now I have something that looks like a hyperlink. It's not that big, long, ugly. It's very descriptive. If I hover over it, I see my little screen tip. This is NH Go Now. And if I control click on it, it's going to start up whatever my default browser is and go directly to that web page that I just showed you. And so that's setting up a web hyperlink. Now let's examine an email hyperlink. So an email hyperlink, you can also just type in if you have an email address. Uh, I'm just going to type in ethan.kane at aeromar.com. Well, if I press enter, I get something that looks like a hyperlink. And if I control click on it, it's going to act like a hyperlink. It starts up an email with Ethan's address already in it. But once again, I can do this one better if I officially insert it as a hyperlink. So click here to email for more information about Word videos. And I am going to add a link but this time it's going to be for an email address. So I have to click on email address. I have to put the email address in there. I'm going to put in ethan.kane at aeromar.com. Notice that it's actually down here in the recently used. I could have just selected it. And the subject, well, this is how I can make this even better. I can put in a subject, word videos. Now, text to display at top, it's going to actually be pretty ugly if I leave the default in there. And I'm going to um, change it to send an email about Word videos. And if I want a screen tip, I can add that as well. It will go to Ethan Keene. I OK. And now I have something, again, that looks much nicer, much friendlier. If I hover over it, I get the screen tip. It will go to Ethan Kane. And if I control click on it, it starts up this, uh, this uh, email with my subject already in place, a lot classier.